Hey y'all, welcome to Kamira's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this delicious and moist pineapple pound cake with a cream cheese glaze. The holidays are quickly approaching and you don't wanna be stuck without a delicious pound cake on your table. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a few pound cakes this holiday season. Now I have three sticks of unsalted butter that I am putting into my KitchenAid mixer. Before I add the sugar, I'm actually gonna beat it a little bit to break up the lumps. Now beating the butter and the sugar and the eggs properly is one of the secrets to getting a very good pound cake. Many people won't tell you that, but you have to beat these ingredients well before you add in the flour to get it to rise correctly. I'm adding three cups of sugar into the butter mixture and then I am going to literally cream this for about 10 minutes non-stop, okay? You have to get the air in there. Now, as it goes, you have to watch it because periodically you're going to need to scrape down the sides. The side area tends to have some pieces that don't get mixed correctly, so you have to address that so that your mixture can be light and fluffy. When it looks like this, you're good. Now, pineapple extract can be hard to find, so I learned this tip from old school soul food. He used some orange extract, and I thought that was a perfect sub for pineapple extract. I've actually only seen it a couple times in the store, and I'm gonna be using two teaspoons of this in my mixture. I'm then going to put in about one tablespoon of vanilla extract and the imitation works well when you're doing baked goods so I'm just going to use that now y'all know I'm gonna measure with the cat okay that's how we do all right and then I have five eggs I'm gonna drop them in one at a time and then I'm going to beat them after each addition of every egg to make sure they are well incorporated Right now, I know you guys see me using this whisk feature on the KitchenAid, but if you don't have this or you just wanna use the regular paddle for the Kitchen um, a blender, you are more than welcome to do that. Your cake is still going to come out very great as long as you beat your sugar and your eggs long enough. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use do this by hand, but honey, the only thing you can't do is do this with a spoon, okay? That is going to take forever. You're gonna be whisking that butter and that sugar for like 30 minutes. Now, I have some evaporated milk that I'm going to be using, as well as three cups of cake flour, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of baking powder. That is already beat into the flour mixture. I really love using evaporated milk for my pound cakes because it gives it a very nice flavor. It has that concentrated milk flavor and milk fat and I think it's really delicious. And then I'm gonna alternate adding the flour and about a third a cup of the milk and then I'm going to slowly incorporate it. One thing you do not want to do is over mix. You will get a gummy, terrible textured pound cake. So please do not do that. You are just mixing everything until it is well incorporated. As you can see, my speed on my blender has been reduced significantly. So you're just going to keep alternating until everything is incorporated into your mixture. Now guys, please let me know in the comments what other recipes you would like to see me make. If you have any other dessert ideas you'd like to see this holiday season, or anything else, let me know in the comments. I am putting together a holiday list of different things I'll be making. So give me some suggestions about things you all would want to see. Now this is my batter. It has been thoroughly mixed, but I do go around the bowl just one or two times with the spatula to make sure everything's well incorporated. This is a 20 ounce can of pineapple. I have drained it um, and I have reserved the juice on the side. Now, before I drained out the pineapple, I did take out two tablespoons of the pineapple with the juice to reserve for the glaze. This is all the pineapple juice that I was able to get out. I'm gonna set this aside to use for the glaze. And then I'm also gonna be doing something else special with it. So stick around to the end to see what else I did with that pineapple juice. I'm gonna put in my crushed pineapple that has been drained and I'm going to just slowly fold it in. Again, we're not over mixing, you're just mixing it until it is just combined. 
I had to pull out the old school reliable bunt pan to do this. I literally took this bunt pan from my mama's house. Okay, we've been using this bun pan since I was a child because oh, this cake was not going to get me today. I know this pan, okay, releases its pound cakes. So I went in and I greased it with some shortening and then I put in some flour. Now one tip is to actually shake your flour onto the middle nozzle because, you know, it's easier to coat it that way. And then you go around and just gently pat the flour around until your pan is well coated knock the excess flour into the trash can or a bowl if you want to save it. Gently pour in your bun your cake mixture around the bunt pan and make sure it is even. If you are using a bunt pan that is too small to hold all the batter, do not force it, okay? You need some of the, you know, some space at the top so your cake can rise. If you force it in there, your cake is going to spill out all over the side of your oven and it's going to be a big mess. I'm gonna put this in the oven in the middle rack, not the top rack. If you saw my peach cobbler pound cake, you know <laughs> the bottom got a little burnt when I, when I forgot to put it in the middle rack now. Okay, put it at 325 degrees and check it at 60 minutes with a toothpick. If it's not ready, give it about five to 10 more minutes. My cake in total took about 65 minutes to cook, but yours could take about an hour and 15. You need to make sure you check it at 60 minutes because you don't want to over bake it or else your cake is going to be dry, honey. All right, now just to give a little extra insurance to make sure, I mean, this is my old reliable bunt pan, but you know, we gotta be sure around here, okay? Cause I don't want this pan to disgrace me. I went in with a knife and I just went around the sides and I flipped, put a plate on the top. I flipped it over and voila, I have my beautiful pineapple pound cake. Now you could leave the bottom up, but I actually want the top to be displayed. So I'm going to flip it one more time. While this is cooling, let's work on the glaze. I have four ounces of cream cheese that has been softened to room temperature. And to this, I'm going to add another teaspoon of the orange extract. I'm then going to put in about a teaspoon of the vanilla extract and all of the crushed pineapple with the juice that I put aside. Now you will see me start using this little spatula in order to mix the glaze, but honey, as I was mixing this, I was getting so many lumps from the cream cheese, okay? I don't know what was going on. So I ended up having to bust out the hand mixer to get all the lumps out. But if you don't have lump problems, you can use a spatula. I'm gonna put in about three tablespoons of the pineapple juice. You can put this in a little bit of a time until you get the texture that you like. I don't suggest going over three tablespoons unless you just want a very, you know, super loose glaze. And this is about two cups of powdered sugar. Now I have a tip for you guys though. If you do add a little bit too much um, of the pineapple juice and you wanna thicken it, but you don't want it to be sweeter, go in with about a tablespoon of cornstarch and that should help thicken up your glaze just a little bit and let it set. Um, because remember powdered sugar has cornstarch in it anyway. So it's not gonna affect the flavor in a negative way. I'm gonna go in and I'm going to glaze my pound cake and this is so beautiful. I love this glaze. Now, I actually got an idea after I glazed this cake, okay, of something that you could do with the juice. Now, if you make this pound cake from the scratch, then I want you to do this before you actually glaze the cake, okay? So listen up. I took the juice and I put it on the stove and I reduced it until it became like a thick, syrup, but I did not add any additional sugar. And then because I had already put the glaze on, I decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just poke some holes with a toothpick throughout the cake and I'm going to just let it seep in and let it drip through the glaze because the glaze was a little bit thick. But if you make this, I want you to reduce the syrup by at least half, if not a little bit thicker. Okay. And on medium heat and then Pour it on the cake first while the cake is bare and then add on the cream cheese glaze. Honey, you gonna have a moist, delicious, pineapple-y flavored cake that you will just love. Now, my cake slice came out a little bit jaggedy because my knife was dull, but regardless, this cake was indeed delicious. If you enjoyed this recipe, please let me know. God bless and I hope to see you next time in Kamira's Kitchen. Goodbye.